Is this the clearest sure. sign yet of irrational exuberance, or is this a sign of healthy um, democratization of investing? Well, I, I, I would I, the, the word nuttiness comes to mind, to be honest. Uh, you know, Scarlett, when you, you look at what's going on here, uh, <clears throat> the fundamentals for somebody like GameStop are highly questionable, as it's already been pointed out. But um, this was a very, very risky short to begin with. I mean, uh, there's a short base of 135 percent of the float. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon to see squeezes like this. And, uh, you know, I think now that, uh, you know, we have all these small investors in the market and they are, you know, they, they see this kind of momentum trade, uh, they see the opportunity to make money. And, and this is exactly the sort of frothiness uh, that you would expect as you start to approach a market top. But, but let me just say one thing for, uh, you know, all the people that are watching, uh, while there's frothiness while valuations are getting extended. These are poor timing tools. And so uh, this could go on for, for quite a while. My view has always been it'll go through on through the, the end of the first quarter. Scott, I like that you bring up the 130% of the free flow in the likes of GameStop that was shorted. And I ask you what the answer is from your perspective. If one is actually needed, does any intervention need to happen now? Do we need, well, some are calling for protection for the retail investor in some way, regulation? Or there should be regulation on the other side of the equation. Should we have more disclosures when it comes to short? Should we have more leverage disclosures coming from the hedge funds and the like? Does anything need to be done in your mind's eye? Well, I think, look, Caroline, good, good disclosure on short positions uh, <clears throat> would be a wise move. Uh, and, and we do have a lot of disclosure right now. Uh, the, the thing that is um, uh, most challenging for me uh, in looking at this is to understand the rationale for taking on an outsized short position uh, in a thinly traded stock. I mean, this was a micro cap stock 30 days ago, and today it's a large cap. And so, uh, and it's entirely being driven around by the, the technical imbalances. So, you know, I, the, the advice I gave a friend of mine recently was about GameStop is that, you know, if you go skating on the thin ice of investing, don't be surprised when you fall mm -hmm. in. 